I hope this actually displays. It should. Please? Thank you. Oh my god, I just made a terrible, horrific realization as I turned on this game chat! Hang on, first of all, it's too loud. That's one of my two realizations. Second one, I'm out of tissues. That's bad for when I inevitably start sneezing like happens every... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I'll worry about it when it happens. I'll worry about that when, it, when the problem arises. Uh-oh. Okay, well, for those who don't remember anything about this game, let me summarize the lore, story, blah 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 of the first two. Uh, essentially you're playing as like a priest in both of those games trying to exercise evil from the world. If you care more about the lore beyond that, you'd have to go watch them. They're pretty dense, uh, with lore for pixel games, so, you know. Mortis, etc, etc. This is a demo, it is not the finished product. It is the continuation of Faith 2, so. It has a lot of depth. So just let me, you know. I, I, did we finish two? Yes, we finished two in the worst way possible by letting everyone die and failing every single event. Catastrophic. Join me. Okay, so I am here. Okay, I've got my, I still got my cross. I can still order demons be gone with the power of space war. Good. Okay, perfect. Uh. Game devs would want me to go straight, and then I'd instantly be killed by something that would yell Mortis in my face. So I'm going to go left for now, and uh, move on. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. What the fuck? Oh. Oh nine B R Graham L Mitchell out. Uh, this is mail. I'm. Yeah, just a lot of mail. Hello, Mr. Ward. I'm so sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with the with coming to visit. I have decided to take on ex Oh, Anne. Fucking gibberish pixel language. Take an extended vacation in the country so you will not find me at home. Sincerely. Lisa Pearson, wow, I really voiced this person like an elderly old man, huh? Well... I shall take my other notes from Lisa. Okay. We have other notes from Lisa. As as you do, I wouldn't know how to open my inventory, because I don't even remember if I can. So, um... We're, <laughs> we're never finding those notes, Chet. Uh, instead, I'm gonna go down this stairway. Um... I'm gonna regret... Oh, escape! Thank you, Chet. Oh my god. John, for now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven, Connecticut, 06511. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, I'll get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. <laughs> well, uh... It doesn't check out with her last letter, her most recent one, which she left on the ground, uh, mysteriously in the middle of a hallway. I'm gonna listen to the one that's most recent. Therefore, I'm going to leave. Is that the only note I have? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. Okay, and then this is the most recent one, which is... <laughs> I didn't really try very hard to make this convincing. What with this one always starting with John, and this one starting with... Hello, Mr. Ward. <clears throat> I am sorry to have worried you. It is me, Lisa Pearson. I'm perfectly fine now. I... <laughs> uh, either way, I'm already too far down this staircase. It takes far too long in this game to travel downstairs. So I'm going to keep going this way. Is that the void? If it was the void, it would start screaming when I lifted up the cross. So I'm going to assume this ain't the void. 
I'm dead? I'm dead. I'm going back upstairs? Cool. <laughs> I'm going back in. Back! Okay! Well, now we know they're in the building. It's important to check. Sometimes you just get crazy people calling in for exorcisms and they just say there's someone in the building. But that's just like the neighbor making weird sounds. So it's important. It, it was good that we checked. Let me pick up this letter again just so we have it. And now let's I go talk to Tiffany. <laughs> I'm going to swing by Tiffany's and have a talk with Tiffany. Because we have to be, we have to make sure we cover every side of the story, chat. So I'm going to go find Tiffany uh, real quick. That was scary. 1B. Hang on, I should probably check real quick. Who lives in 1B? I should get the name of the person. It's more official and seems more intimidating for the person living there. If a person, like, you know, looking like this shows up while knowing your full name already. So I'm going to do baseline research of looking at their mailbox to tell who this is. 1B. 1B. Hang on, where's 1? One, 1B. One, one was it even a 1B? Was it a 2B? D. Gibson. Was it 2B? It was 2B. 1B's outgoing. Was it a 2B? D. G Gibson? Wait a minute. But 1B... That's not... That's an out... That's an outgoing mailbox. They don't even exist. This is... This is someone that ain't real. Or there's just something weird going on with the mail. Hello? Wow, lots of build up to not know how to open doors. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang out over here. I don't know how to open them, Chad. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna go. Hello? Here at the talk to Tiffany, get the spare key. To be. The, ah, uh, this is Gibson. Here we go. This is Gibson. Gibson? Still, uh, still can't open doors, so I don't really, don't have much I can do aside from just shine my cross at you. <laughs> he can tell. He can tell as a man of the, a, a man of God outside. Questioning him. Okay, so I decide to manually go up the la up the stairs instead of taking the elevator. One of my weird quirks as a priest is that I fear those goddamn devil shoots. I don't I don't take oh oh hang on two A. Hold up, I gotta check. Who who lives in two A? I'm gonna check. Hang on, I'll be back. Hang on. Hold up, chat. <laughs> Just gotta go check the mailbox. <laughs> Okay. Hello? Hello? Tiffany? Uh, other one? Lisa, right? Lisa. I'm here for a uh, complimentary uh, mail order exorcism. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm seeing some... Some mess on the ground. The note, I'm gonna check that out. <clears throat> Every initiated follower of follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven. What is that? Fucking f asterisk? Is that a fly? Seven. At se redacted by passing them through the fucking fly carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the fly with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore Amy. Amy was the demon monster from the first game. I remember. I shot her. <laughs> Definitely killed that one. Or got hit by a car. A multitude of various ways for Amy to die in that one. And I remember that. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. Everyone also has... Everyone also has very, very nice and average believable names. Which is so rare in a lot of horror. And most games in general. 
How many people just have the name Gary as like an evil cultist? Gary, sincerely, Frank. Okay. Uh, no one's here. No one's here. Um, I wish I could get to, to helping them fast. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> I want this. I sort of want this. I can't pick this up. I guess I don't want it. Wait, I'm, wait a minute. God! Get that one! Get that one? I've cleansed this thing of evil. Or at least I'm trying. Is this cured now? It's taken a little bit. Guys, I'm only like a fucking level two priest, all right? I haven't unlocked like my fucking maximum. I haven't put many points into exorcism. I put a lot more into soul spear. So like, don't worry, when I see a monster, I'll cast soul spear and I'll cleave it in twine in one swing. But um, I don't have a lot of points in like support moves. So, you know. I'm more of a combat priest. You know how it is. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna keep on taking the stairs upstairs. I don't think there's anything else I can do on that. I'm a DPS shadow priest. I need four warlocks with me or I can't even do anything helpful in the raid. But that's okay, Chad. <laughs> that's okay. We'll find some more warlocks upstairs and I can start shadow weaving like the best of them. Don't worry. 3A, uh, locked. I should, I could take the elevator. I won't, but I could. This is how I pad time. 3B. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. I saw a key in there. Anything evil? Variety. I I'm warning you. Okay, I got the key. I'd like to turn off the TV now. Can I? No, I'll leave it on. It's good background noise. This door's locked, okay? Uh, if I walk up to you and you kill me, that's a long trip back up the stairs because even if you reset my whole game, I am not taking the elevator. I've already committed. So it's probably in both of our best interest if I ignore this entire demo set piece and I leave. Or I cast you to the beyond uh, with the power of my level two uh, exorcism spell. Bitch, okay, whatever. Whatever, it saved my game. So what does it even matter? Hello? Okay, the music's getting a lot more, like, bangy now. Like someone's tossing stuff down the elevator. Oh, yep. More creepy lights. 4B is locked. I haven't been jumped by a monster yet. So far, which is good. That's the elevator. Has the game volume been good so far, chat? It's been good as well. No problems. Audible. As well, good. Four A. <laughs> Imagine if I just took the elevator. <laughs> Imagine how short this would be. I could just skip right to the boss at the end, and I'd be done with the demo. This is how you build suspense, Chet, by climbing eight flights of stairs. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I get the feeling if I try to walk past this one, the door's gonna like slam off the hinges and crush me against this wall right here. I can tell a mile away. Ah, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I am here to give up bye bye. <laughs> I know I just naturally opened that, but uh, uh, maybe I don't. No, I'm going in. Five A. <laughs> I'm gonna activate Mind Flay and do that eight times because there's no other spell worth using and I forgot to pack my wand, chat, so... Alright, get ready! I got one move, if this thing's an actual fight. Here we go! Open up! Okay! 
Wait. It's not getting me. Hang on. Okay. Oh, now you want me to go get the fucking dagger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Now. Go all the way back to floor two. I need you to collect the special dagger and then you can cut the red tape off of the door. Oh wait, hang on. Arrow say this way. Ah, I see. Key. If you wish to break the seal of Elu, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the darkness beneath. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Love Gary. <laughs> Love Gary the demon. Thanks, Gary. It still doesn't sell me on the whole being a cultist and your weird, like, deal, but... It do I do appreciate that you're there for me. Okay, well, I'm not going back downstairs yet. I got another four fucking flights, so... I am not doubling back, I'll tell you what. So... I keep climbing. I got a key to something. I guess I should check every door on my way up just to be safe. I know where the knife is. I'm gonna guess the elevator actually works and I can use it. Huh, okay. I got a new key. So... I got like a blue one in there. 6B. This place getting a lot more like oozy and drippy now, huh? A lot more, a lot more drips um, in the wallpaper. A lot more, like it's melting, like it's like like wax, like hot wax on a candle, or like cheese melting, like melty cheese. I'm just gonna keep climbing up for now. Okay. There is no seventh floor. Make me turn around. I don't believe you. I'll just take the elevator. Fuck you, I'm not that scared of elevators. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just take the elevator to floor seven, it's fine. What the- chat, I'm, I'm braving- This is like character development. I'm gonna brave my fears and I'm gonna use the elevator. Check it out. Huh? Eh? Hey, okay. Please take me to floor seven. That's floor two. We're gonna be here a while, chat. Excellent. Now please take me to floor seven. Take me to floor seven. To floor seven. Floor seven. Take me there now! God damn it! Little shit! I'm cool. I'm cool. Take me to Florida. Fucking busted ass. <laughs> Elevator barely works. I told you it was made by the devil. I'd like to check the rest of the rooms, looking for Tiffany. Yeah, no, nothing here. This should take me downstairs, so this is... Hang on, whoa, whoa, hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. There is a seventh floor. I know. It's on the fucking elevator, like, buttons. I'm gonna get there. You just have to give me some time. Tiffany! Lisa! I'm here to exercise one of you and probably uh, inadvertently cause the death of the other. Oh, A Day. There we go. Hello? <laughs> Anyone um, need a cross to be shined at them and make them flicker? Like on and off until they release lore? Ah, here we go. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. 
The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Do they mean me? I think they mean me. Dude, imagine expecting me to be like on this job, like. Fuck off right now. I'm gonna activate Soul Spear. I only get one cast of it because I didn't put any points into attunement. I, don't, I only have one cast, so um, let it be known. Don't dodge this one. Thank you. Prepare yourself. Oh, I won. I knew it. Put all my points into intelligence. Insta kill. So easy. <laughs> all right, hang on. I actually gotta go all the way back downstairs to the bonfire now. Chat. I QA tested this game and never saw that. Wow, that's cool. This is why I'm taking this game incredibly slowly. Definitely not to pad out the demo's time or anything. <laughs> Definitely just trying to, um... Floor 9A. I don't know if I had uh, one more floor. I'm just gonna take it manually with my feet. <laughs> just gonna manually walk the rest of the way there with my broken legs. One more floor. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. These ones don't even have numbers on them. And one more. One more room. So if cross is super effective, why not make a chainmail armor or at least a vest out of crosses? Check. That's like the same logic as if guns were good at killing. Why don't we make our clothes out of gun? You know? Why make- why not make clothes out of gun? Make gun shirt. Use gun to sh make gun clothes. Shut the fuck up. You shut up, Gorgon! Fuck you! I don't think I should go in here. Chat, the cross doesn't activate unless you pick it up and use it like a gun. You guys literally have been looking at the entire game's lore. I have it in my pocket. It does not stop the monsters until I activate it and, like, load it with my hands, okay? By picking it up. Think about it. It is the same concept. Might as well make a shirt out of swords. Sacrifice what you cling to. I'm not taking my clothes off. The only thing I wear in this game is like a fucking like necktie, I think, and I'm not taking that off, so. You and I are gonna have a fucking- Wait. What is this? This is a very high-tech chest. Basement dumbwaiter, how to use. Pull up on handle to open hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed. Alright, I was under the impression this was like a hotel ran uh guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was under the impression when I started reading this, this wasn't going to be written by a cultist. It is. Place the item and or sacrifice. Inside the container, pull down the head. To close the hatch, press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Warning, number six. Do not open hatch once dumb waiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I'm tired of people losing them. Okay. Cameras. It's like cameras. Where is this? What is this displaying? I guess the dumb waiter? Give up the cross? I don't know about that one, buddy. Wait, idea! Chat, if he eats it... <laughs> if he eats the cross, he's gonna explode! And it says so right on the label that I gotta give up what I cling to, and this is my only weapon. I cling, I cling to this. I'm gonna go get that special knife that the game kept telling me to get and I ignored up until this point because I didn't feel like taking a whole trip back down the elevator. Before I go tossing my fucking, uh, talisman that lets me cast all of my magical abilities into a fucking tube. Mm, 
just want to. But by lore, you need it held up. You're not wrong, Chet. You're not wrong, Chet. Finally, someone understands how these things work. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm a, I, I remember this. When I came through here on floor two last time. A beautiful string of candles. A romantic walk to the room 2A to pick up my death dagger, which I'm going to use to feed to the demon. Okay, someone used it already. Whatever. Be gone. This time for real. Okay. Step one of the seal is open. Wait, give it to me. God damn it. Well, chat, we gotta give up our cross. I, I don't pick up things if someone's touched them. Very germaphobic. Hang on. I think these candles want me to go back up this way now. If someone's picked it up, I don't touch it. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna follow the candles. It's tainted now. That's right. They ruined it. The priest walks so chill. Chad, that's because he was born without knees. The guys don't understand. <laughs> You're all acting like he's chill right now. He can't walk. He's got. He's got. He's got kneeless legs, Chad. I forgot about this one. I wonder if I can open this. No. I'm gonna take the elevator and surrender my cross. What's the worst that can happen? I end the demo by surrendering my only weapon that can protect me from the demons. First of all, though, I'm gonna challenge you once more, Ghost of the Elevator. I would like to go to floor seven. I mean six. With a layover. To floor seven! Fine. Fine, whatever. Just take me to floor ten. You can't do multiple inputs. It takes your input immediately when you push the button, so... Besides, I don't want anyone's... You again. I've already spent my one cast, and I'm not backtracking to the bonfire. You have to go. <clears throat> you tell me this wasn't a one-time spawn? You tell me this was a... This is a normal... Entity? Fuck off! Gabby? Be gone! Thank you. Alright, hi, I'd like to sacrifice what I cling to, otherwise known as my only weapon in the whole game, to the pit. So be it. So be it, he says. Now I'd like to immediately open this, so I can hear the fucking screeches. Where's my cross? Where's my cross? You're not telling me this guy already fucking ate it, did he? I gave him my shit. I can't cast Soul Spear anymore. It's not like I had any more casts of it anyways. It's gone. Thing's still blinking red, I guess it's still not done. I don't think he's finished eating yet. It'd be green if he had finished, right? How's it going down there? Ah, well, Chad, I so beat I so beat it straight down to um the pits of hell I'm fucked. Uh, I'm <laughs> I I I so beat it, and now I'm doomed. Hey, the fucking candles are telling me I'm good to go, though. Or something. Hey. <laughs> you guys, you guys got the memo, huh? You know? Yeah, I mean, I did just toss my only weapon down the hole, so. But I, I don't fear you. Goodbye. 
Yes, I'd like to go to uh, well, floor seven. <laughs> Wait, well, hang on, what? Whoa, 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 I said floors. I, I'm not getting out on the stop now. You fucking didn't get out of frame in time. I'm not getting out. You're gonna have to drag me out of here, Gary. <laughs> you have to drag me out of this fucking elevator. I'm not getting out. Okay. I can't just turn on the elevator again, Chad. I'm on my own. Gary? Hello? Okay. Can't go downstairs. Uh, there's a bunch of X boys over there. Okay. Looks like this way he's got something going on. What's this camera? Ha! Uh, it's my camera. Ha! Ah! <laughs> something very s strange. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Fuck off. Huh. No, I prefer in games like this one, I just don't check. So I'm just not gonna check. I'm gonna check. All right, we're good. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going though. Hang on, I'm going back this way. No fucking way. The game devs would want me to go this way. I'm gonna go the other way because those fucking cross guys are probably like, all right, lights out. He's gone. He's not even gonna know how to get back. I'm going all the way back. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Is there a limit on film? I sure hope not. All right, they're gone now. All right, this was epic. Elevator's broken, right? Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Ha! And now I've got like fucking arrows I have to follow, huh? What do you want me to, hang on. Okay, that's the, uh... Uh, uh, hang on, let me check, do one more quick. I got like some fucking blood trail behind me, Chad, I, hang on. Hang on. All right, I think I'm gonna just gonna go this way again. I think there's some sort of like problem with my whole deal. Those guys are still there, I'm not honestly. I think I'm, I think I'm bleeding out. I'm just gonna start going downstairs, dude. I think I'm dying. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I think I got, <coughs> I think I got stabbed or something while I was flashing that. While I was taking pictures on my camera or something. It's honestly hard to tell because I still walk at the same speed all the time because of my no knee syndrome. Oh, please, please stop. I'm good. I plugged up the wound. Wait a minute. Oh wait, no, they're back. I was gonna go back up and say that I found some like other sequence I could do. It wants me to go in here. It saved. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it wants me to go in here. Yeah, I smell it. Sin. Right beyond this door. They have no idea about my second cross that I hide in my fucking, like, my throat. Like, deep in my fucking vocal cords is a miniature cross that I can regurgitate whenever I need to to defend myself. I super cling to that one. Like a bird. <laughs> Hello? I'm just gonna not turn on the camera while I cross this. <laughs> and crossed? Good shit. All right. Some more tubes. Guys, swing on down this way. I'm not gonna talk to those guys, chat. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is that a mask? Or is that a skull? Oh, yeah, those are skulls. That's like the pits of hell. You want me to climb in this, uh... I'm gonna jump in it. I can't. I was gonna jump in, I guess I'll just go. I'll just go. Hey. It's more of those X guys. More, uh... Wow, this is... This is so good. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I'm dying again. I stepped on, like, a thumbtack, and now I'm bleeding everywhere. Again. 
Okay, uh, 2A. Hello? There's some sort of hatch. <laughs> hey! All right, they scared me down here. This is part of their plan. They, they, they tricked me into doing <laughs> They done... They spooked me just hard enough to convince me to go down here. Now, what's your... I'm, gonna, I'm holding S and... I, I'm holding both of the backwards keys. It's just walking towards me faster. Ah! Uh, ah! Back! Ye! Ha! Ha! Knee syndrome, come on! Okay. Oh boy! Chad, I can't remember this thing fast enough! I, I can see it all. He got me. <laughs> ah. I got mortised. Yeah, that would be the mortis. I think he shot me. Uh, from the distance I saw when I took my camera picture, I think he shot me. I think he had a gun the whole time. Just lined up a shot and fucking, like, domed me. No matter. This time, for sure. Is this the Halloween stream? Well, I would have streamed Halloween. No, this just came out, like, yesterday, so... I would have played even if it wasn't Halloween. Cause I fucking like this dev, and I like their shit. They make some good fucking horror games. I got a- I got a lead on him this time, cause I wasn't holding the direction lap this time around. That was towards him. Alright. I do- I fucked it up. I blew it. Okay. 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 All right. We're through. Now where am I? Hey. It's fine, chat. We're gone. We did it. I think we're all no more. No more guys following me in a low speed, low stakes, um, stumble chase. Ha. Is that a... Is that some sort of bird guy? Why, why'd he have like a fucking bird face on him? Was that... What the fuck was that? He had like a... He had like a beak. Did I see that? Oh, come on. Let me out. Just let me go. Ah! There was a guy there. He stabbed me again. I can tell from the blood I'm bleeding. Mail. Oh my god, I'm bleeding a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely bleeding. One of the other- I also don't have any nerves on my entire body chat, so the only time I can tell if I'm bleeding is if I, I, I see myself bleeding. It's very tragic. I remember this place. Last time I went down here, I got devoured. By a demon. Oh. Yikes. I thought this would be a lot more in like intimidating. I didn't know that the first time I died in this game was going to be in a fucking laundry room. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, my thing. I want that. Even if it's a total bait. Activate. Oh wait, I lost my camera. Oh my god, my guy doesn't know how to carry two things at a time. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I can do this one. I'm in control now. Where's the hole? It was right around here last time I checked. There was a hole, there was like a hole in the wall right here. Yep. Yep. It's like right here. Just squeeze in. I don't even think I can go in this hole. There's a hole there, I promise. I just can't go in it. It's made for... Oh, uh, yeah. Now I can go in that hole. Oh, it was a wall the whole time. Okay, well... Now we know. I'm gonna check the laundromat real quick before I... Back ye. Oh my god! Step up! Oh yeah, you thought I was gonna sacrifice myself to the demons! You made one mistake! You let me get away the first time. I was able to level up after that, bitch! I'm stronger than I was before. 
I know how to hold space even better randomly at where I think you might be, because honestly, I can barely tell where the candles are lit. I'm just sort of winging it at this point. Just show up, like, behind me and you'd get me almost instantly, but you keep on coming right in front. <laughs> <laughs> It was an excellent attempt. But now, I have to send you beyond. Wild demon. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave. I'm not, I'm not partaking in your sacrifice. I'm really not. I just came here to deliver the mail. The whole time I wasn't even, I just have a cross on me. I'm not. I probably should help out and check whatever was in there. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not. Hmm. Or was I supposed to leave? And I just missed something by leaving early. Not seven. Okay, I'm just not gonna touch the middle. I think I'm saving, if I don't touch the middle, I don't think it would activate whatever's in there. If there's even something to activate in there. I, I do wanna see the note. My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world, if you dare. Love, Tiffany. Goddamn Gary. Seventy times seven. Well, if they want me to answer math and blood, I can tell them right now I'm not finishing the fucking ritual. Goodbye. The question is, chat, do I dare walk into the middle of the thing? The mask? I don't want to touch the mask. The mask is clearly the most evil part. I'll shine my cross at the mask. Hang on, let me... I'll shine my cross on the mask. It's cleansed. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm gonna jump in the middle. It didn't do anything. <gasps> okay, so I actually did everything I think I was supposed to do by doing that. And now I'm supposed to go back up to that room. Survivalist me was going to just do all that and then bug out, like just hand in, like just like hand in my cross and leave at the front door. But I guess I'll go up to that sealed room I definitely survive at the end of this demo. Okay. I just sort of dance around. What the? Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and re reseal myself back in the Ark of the Covenant down here right away. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and climb into that seal myself. Thank you very much. Definitely a demon now. Chat, I'll tell you what just happened, all right? I may have been scratching my face and not had my hand anywhere near the space bar button. Uh, <laughs> may have just doomed the whole run. Might have just... Might have just fucked us all. Whatever. Let's just go. Don't worry, chat. We still got the cross. If I was a demon, they would be like causing like a big flesh. All right, chat. Do we leave or do we go into the, the creepy room? Do we just fuck off? We could just go. We can leave. That's right. I'm gonna do creepy room, I wanna know. But first, one last try. When I pressed this last time, they didn't even actually properly take me there, so. Okay. What floor was uh, demon room on? Was it three or, f it was on three or four. I'm gonna try three. Five, five. Swell. Chat, there's nothing to be scared of now. We have a demon ourselves. You know? 
Like, that's the thing you're not thinking about, is that now we have a demon on our side. What's there to be afraid of? Well, uh... Anyone? We're at their level, that's right, chat. And we also have to take care of it. That's your job. You have to take care of it and feed the demon, or I'm gonna bring it back to the pound, alright? You gotta take care of the demon. Hello? Oh yeah, you're getting Lisa exercise. And got your power on it. Good. What do you so look? It's so dark. I can't see through it anymore. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. I'm not Lisa. What did you fucking expect, John? Blasted. Fuck off. Oh, I don't need a demon to kick your slow ass. Ah, I'm too fast. See, she's got a different, uh, leg problem. Uh, where there should be... Her legs basically stop at the knee, chat. Her hand, her legs, her feet are at the fucking... At her knees. Very short legs. Makes it very difficult to move. And it makes it very easy for us to fucking blast them with, like, god power. Ha ha ha. Ha Blasted. Uh, you're in this one. You're in this one. Gotcha! <laughs> Alright! This is... This is almost too easy, Lisa. This would be a lot... This I'd feel a lot better about this if I didn't have, like, a demon bird in me right now. For some reason. You're in this one? <laughs> so bad! Be gone! Both of you be gone! Don't. Okay. Ah. I got stuck on a fucking. Yeah. Be in this one again. I dare you. Okay. <laughs> ah, be gone to the to to heaven, I guess. No. Am I getting killed? Oh, she's running off. Well. Wow. Feels really good to be me, Ch uh, I did everything right, and the person I saved literally pushed me out of the way and, like, fled. She does know she has to pay me, right? Like, this- I don't do this for free. Now I have to chase after her with my bad- I forgot I- Hey, I'm guessing you're the bird demon. Man, I bet I would have had a much better ending if I fucking didn't scratch my face and accidentally let that bird demon devour my soul. That sucks. But hey, uh, very good demo for um, a demo that was actually, I think, clocking it in. Fucking way longer than the entire first game. <laughs> so yeah, pretty good stuff. The entire game in in a full three game package is uh on lit. Well, it's listed on Steam. It hasn't been it hasn't been set with a release date yet. Um, but whenever it is out, whenever the third game is out, I will fucking play the shit out of that. And maybe redo part two as well since I blew it. Who knows. But that's, that's a couple months out. Chat, hope you like that. Uh, we're moving on to Silent Hill. James has to become a real man. Silent Hill 2 finale. I hope. I sure do hope. I can finish this. I should be able to. Let me plug in my Xbox controller and make that weird dinging sound. Please don't activate a microphone in the Xbox controller. We're good. Cool. All right, chat. Good game. I like it. I'm excited for when it comes out. I'm pretty sure it's running for like 10 bucks when it's out. So, you know. That'll be... That's pretty good. That's pretty. That's a, that's a pretty solid price for the amount of cool shit that guy does. That dev does pixel horror really well. 
I mean, it's not like it's a horror game that's freaking me out, but like, damn. They do a good job. I don't know, I have nothing but praise for those games. It's creepy. They do creepy really well for the amount of pixel real estate they're giving you. It's pretty good shit. And now, let me just load the game before I turn on the display. We're not done, shit. We gotta go back to Silent Hill. James is almost a real boy, chat. If people want a refresh on what was happening in Silent Hill, um, James has been trying to find his dead wife who's been dead for three years because she sent him a totally legitimate letter that she was in Silent Hill, a place with no one living in it except for monsters. And it's taken him about six hours of gameplay to say that there's something wrong. So, you know, that's sort of where we're at. James is convinced he's a person. I'm convinced he's some sort of tube baby, uh, born without half of his frontal lobe or the ability to process human emotions in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we just lost, um, Maria, who is, who looks exactly like James's wife. She was killed by a pyramid head. You mean Morty? I mean Marjorie. Uh, and she was killed as a result of me yelling, there's not enough space in this elevator, and slamming the closed door button on the elevator, because honestly, she was a bit of a bitch. So we let her die, and now we're gonna find the real Mary. Right now, post haste. We got a fucking letter. We got like a fucking note thing that gave us a bunch of destinations on the map we gotta go to now. In primary Silent Hill, we just cleared out this whole hospital. And we're just... Moving on, we're doing our shit. We, we've already fucking stopped caring about Mar Mallory. She's dead. Murphy's gone, chat, for good. She's been stabbed and twined by the pyramid. Man. We have about a billion ammo because I refuse to shoot any of it. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. And Laura's run off somewhere. Once again, I couldn't do anything. He really... Mary... What should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? The odds are very low. Or is this your way of taking... I I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Okay. Um, sure. Jet, the most recent thing that happened to us is we got a bunch of destinations we have to uh, swing by. I think to like check out I gotta open up I gotta open up the map proper we got like a notebook that said like a billion different places we'd want to investigate we gotta get a letter wrench right there at Gonzalez Mexican restaurant so we gotta swing back into old Silent Hill and pick up a wrench and then I think we do some we check out some circles I don't know why the hospital's still circled because we literally just did that, but we'll check that out in a little bit. I gotta sort of get my bearings again because it's been like a week since I've played. Well, I guess less than a week, but we got a few places to check out. We're playing on the Silent Hill 2 Enhanced mod, which is a mod for the PC, which makes the game widescreen, updates a bunch of the texture bullshit, makes it look a lot nicer. Um, it also has a reshade on it. As you can see, very slight, but it's there. Is Happy Burger open yet? Boy, I hope so. Come on, chat. We gotta get the Happy Burger. We'll swing on my happy burger. We'll go this way, the happy burger. We'll swing my happy burger. We'll see if we get a fucking meal. Maybe Mary's there. <laughs> One of these roads has to be fucking empty. Wait a minute. I just remembered. Uh, the trick of Silent Hill is that my character can run forever. Uh, <laughs> you can't stop me. I hope some of these roads are open now that it's the dead of night and not foggy anymore. Everything's just dark now. Oh, there's something gaining on me. Hello? I guess it was just my imagination. Hello? Okay. Last time I was here, there was- I couldn't pass- there's a, yeah, I, don't, I think at this point I'm gonna run into like a roadblock that I won't be able to traverse. 
So yeah, all the information I'm going on right now is a note map that I found in the hospital right before I left, which basically marked a bunch of places with like symbols. So I'm swinging by all those and picking up a wrench that was also on that map because obviously I'm gonna need it. Get away from me! Oh, it's actually a person this time. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna keep on hearing the sounds of people next to me, but there were never gonna be any there. So far though, I've been very much enjoying this game. Let's see if I can actually take Saul Street, the road now. Maybe I'll be, maybe it'll be open now. Yes. Yes? Mm. Mm, yes. Good shit. That's what I was hoping would be the case, is that they'd open this now that like I had progressed to the zone. Therefore allowing me to skip half of the, oh please, please. Yes! Okay, cool. So now let's just skip like half of the bullshit. Now I can go pick up a letter wrench from Gonzalez Mexican restaurant. Maybe we can get some food while we're there. Oh my god, it's happening, chat. Hang on, it's actually happening. I gotta sneeze and there's no tissues. Hang on, I gotta find like an emergency measure. I mean, hang on. Wow. <laughs> he got it all over himself. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just grabbed a trash bin and sneezed into the trash. <laughs> Which I guess is the is the pure the purest way to do it. Just grab the trash bin next to my desk and fucking use that. I don't have any other options, alright? We're answering DEFCON 1 shit. Is this a monster? Hey, hang on, how do I fight again? I, I've remembered the maximum depth of fighting in Silent Hill, I've mastered it again. Now keep in mind, chat, note the amount of ammo I'm sitting on in this game as we move forward. Um, hundreds of rounds. We will never use them. <laughs> note all that ammo, and then note that I will personally never shoot a single round in my entire gameplay experience now that I'm not stuck in a hallway protecting Maria. Hello. Remember, I can't turn my camera in this. Oh! Oh! That's actually scared me. That The first one actually scared me. The second one scared me enough that I'm running the rest of the way. Yeah, fuck that. That actually, the second one freaked me out because I was like still processing what I just saw. <laughs> Saul Street. All right. Let's go pick up that letter wrench from Gonzalez Mexican Restaurant. Hey, hang on, what the fuck? Health kit. A first aid kit. That's gonna help keep me and just me alive. Hello? Does anyone know where Martha is? What does this say? There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. The only reason I'm fucking even retaining that in my memory is because I literally have to walk by it to get to my destination. So like, whoever that is, maybe I'll swing by Bar Neely's. All right. Door's not working. Door's not, I can't get out. Hang on. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> All right. Back on the road again. The darkness. T-pose? Oh, that's, oh, this is one of those, like, doll ones. Stop. Don't make me do it! I will! Ah. I would. Like a god, Jet. Remember that. The only thing that threatens me is indoor scenarios where I have to babysit someone or they die. I'm not scared of these things. Remember that. They're more scared of us than we are of them. Understand? Happy Burger. She's gotta be near here. She left me a sign. It's rifle shells. Oh yeah, she's been through here. She, she stopped at the cursed drive-thru that has no delivery point. Oh yeah. She came through. 
She immediately ran over to the garbage cans and dropped some more rifle shells. Every single time I pick up this ammo, it makes like a spooky sound. But the Happy Burger is still closed. God damn it. She would have gone to her, her next favorite restaurant if she had a choice. It would be Gonzalez's Mexican cuisine. Oh, Neely's Bar is where I'm supposed to go to, isn't it? For that letter. Guess I'll swing by there. Looks like all the stuff, like, respawned on the walls, so I guess I need to patrol all the roads of Silent Hill again. Hi, I'm gonna need you to vacate. It's very important that you take another step closer, please. Thank you. How's the game volume been, by the way, chat, on this one? Is this like, I don't think I've changed anything from last time whatsoever in any part of this, so this should be good. Ideally, pretty good. Neely's bar. Well, did I just do all this for ammo? There's nothing here. Neely? Friends? That might hang out at Neely's? There's nothing at Neely's. If I don't find something like right here, I'm going. Oh! No, that's just like a fucking painting on a wall. Hey. Where is. I'm not. Why do I. I've gotta stop thinking like I gotta fight everything, cause that's how. I had to do that in the hospital, cause I didn't have a choice. Now I'm out, and I'm free. I'm not being tied down by Martha. I can just go. I don't have to fight anything. I'm going to Gonzalez. Speed Fuel Corp. Is this the right way? Oh yeah, this is the right way. Oh yeah. Right around here should be the entrance. Very accessible, hopefully. Okay, this is the place. It's open, but there's no handle on the door. So... I guess I don't get in. Wait. Wait, but the the the, mar the square says ha ha ha. Hello? Is there someone on like a tree with a like camera? I don't like this angle. This makes me feel like like there's someone watching me. Hello? nothing check I got a wrench I still I went to this right away so I don't know what I got the wrench for and a letter or perhaps you are a fool the truth usually betrays people a part of that abyss is in the old society the key to the society is in the park. Is this like a fucking commentary this game is doing with me or am I actually supposed to go to like the old society? Like what are you like talking about? At the foot of the praying woman inside of the ground, inside of a box to open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled. But the museum was sealed as well. Now, no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. I'm not stopping. I'm going to go, I guess. Wait, where did that letter say to go? Rosewater fucking park? By the praying lady? I need to read, I need to do a double take. Where, where do you want me to go? Let me check. Why don't I just take this with me? Uh, in the park at the foot of the praying woman. Okay. We go back to the park, foot of the praying woman. Hang on. Did I remember 